Good to start, start by telling us a little bit about the what you can say about the latest on the investigation and what's happening here. Well, everything is still progressing. Uh, talked with the detective in charge of the investigation earlier today. Uh, they had a press conference scheduled. However, we have not been able to get the other two inspections uh, completed as yet. Uh, we have one inspector here who's awaiting a federal investigator that is coming in. He's supposed to be here between 12 and 2 p.m. today. Uh, once we can obtain you know, those two inspections, then we will have four to submit to the state of Tennessee for review. Uh, and at that point, a decision will be made by the state of Tennessee, uh, the Department of Workforce and Labor Development, with respect to whether we can reopen at that point. Sure, sure. Is, who's the federal? Don't have a name. Uh, all I understand is Detective Davis received the phone call. We have no names, don't know what department. Uh, we're just awaiting for an arrival and we we'll know more information at that point. Uh, talk to me about what you guys have been working on other than bringing in inspectors. What kind of are you, are you, are you close to being able to open the other rides? Are they open now? They are not. Uh, rides will not open until we get a green light from the state of Tennessee. And see what the results of the report and their review. Uh, as I understand, if we can get that by four or so this afternoon, there is a possibility they will allow us to reopen today. Uh, we were hopeful that might happen yesterday and we were close, but uh, they wanted to get the other reports and we felt like our board as well, we didn't want to reopen until we had the results of the other two inspections. We, we want to be sure that everything is you know, up to speed and no other safety issues. None have been identified in the two inspections that we've had uh, to date, uh, and waiting the results of the other two. Is, do, do you have to wait on the inspection, or could you open uh, anyway without the state, I mean, I think with the report that I just got a little while ago, we could probably open, but, um, you know, I don't want to speak for them. Uh, our concern as a board, I mean, we want the other inspections send all those to the state. You know, we, we want it to be a no question issue, um, you know, on our behalf and, and our community. Now, what we were discussing, I mean, we would like to see the copy of the contract you had with Family Attractions and Amusements. Will that be possible? Uh, at this time, it is not. Uh, we've been advised that we cannot release any information while an active investigation is going on in the public state. Questions like this inspection, and, you know, what's going on at the fair, those kind of things. Who, who told you not to release a public document? Uh, we've been advised by our insurance company because we have filed a claim. Uh, so we've got to wait, you know, the investigation results until those are complete. You know, we, we got to be sure that, you know, the criminal investigation is wrapped up and, and there's no issue there whatsoever. Uh, and then at that point, reaching out to the legal counsel, which we've already had some conversation there. Uh, we'll move with both the insurance company and, and our legal counsel can provide to us. What does that inspection report say that you have? Does it say you're good to go? Or uh, it's just uh, every ride has been inspected and, you know, identifying who did the inspection and the date. And uh, if, if there was any repairs needed, like a bolt should be replaced because there is or whatever, minor top stuff, nothing major, and that's, that's a good thing. And that was done just today? Or? Uh, it was actually performed yesterday. The gentleman who spoke at the press conference at 6 yesterday, uh, and he is updating a report to go along with this, a written report. This is just the inspection sheet. We talked a little bit about this yesterday, but, I mean, you're quoted in a paper as saying that there were contractual concerns with this company, but it was too expensive. I mean, are you sure you said yesterday that you didn't know anything about that, but it was it was you talking to that newspaper. Is there anything you'd like to say about that? Were there concerns about this company coming in? Uh, no. I mean, quite honestly, I, our board has you know, supported the company and the track record here, and uh, you know, our experience has been good. You know, this is an unfortunate incident. You know, we're deeply concerned for these young ladies. And, you know, right now, all that matters is the health of those three young ladies. Everything else will take care of itself over time. That's absolutely true. And I think there are some people that would say they would look at, at the previous statement 
and say it looks like money could have been put in front of safety. What would you say to that? That is not a true statement. We had concerns, our board. I mean, we live in this community and we're a part of this community. Most all of us grew up here, born and raised here. Uh, you know, we try to put on a quality fair. And, you know, it's a passion that a lot of those folks share. And everyone on our board is heartbroken this week. And certainly this is the kind of event that, you know, we just struggle with. And, uh, but, you know, money is not a concern or an issue with respect to uh, safety concerns. I mean, safety is always primary importance. Looking ahead, will you reconsider the contract with Family Attractions Amusement in light uh, of this incident? Uh, I can honestly say I think that obviously that will be uh, on a topic of discussion in the board meeting. So, uh, we do have one year remaining on that contract. Uh, you know, we, just, we just got to sort through you know, what the reports are and you know, try to determine uh, you know, how we move forward. Really, with all the activities going on this week, you know, we've not been able to get all 20 board members together at one shot and, and have an open conversation about that kind of thing. But that will be addressed soon. Sure. Is it is canceling the contract early a possibility? Uh, given circumstances, I'm sure that you know that would be that, you know, something that could be pursued. Have you discussed that with? Mr. Uh, yeah. uh, you know, typically that kind of conversation will be after the fair, I mean, especially with one year remaining on the contract. If this was the last year of the contract, then we would talk later in the week about specifics of uh, adjustments or whatever in, in the contract. Uh, but it's still too early in the week to have that and with the year remaining. point in this year and, and as a board make a collective decision on where we go to move forward from here. Can you describe for me what the vetting process is to bring in a company like this? What specifically do you guys do to ensure that they're up to your standards? Well, uh, I've been on the board for 24 years and we've been through three carnival transitions here. Uh, typically what happens, the state of Tennessee has the Tennessee Association of Fairs reach out to those other fairs that have experience with the carnival and seek input from those fairs that have had experience, review their rides, let them come in, show us their ride list, the condition of the equipment and, and their safety record. And uh, you know at that point a decision is made based on you know who we feel is appropriate. Are there any specific things in a safety record when you look before a vendor is brought in that might disqualify them? Sure, I mean, past history, if they have had, you know, major incidents or whatever, certainly going to be reviewed on that topic of discussion. Was this company's past incident discussed before they were brought in this year? They were here prior to that incident. So because the contract was in effect, it wasn't re-discussed? It was discussed. Can you tell me about that discussion a little bit? What were their concerns raised, or what made you decide point. to go with it? Not at this point. I mean, it's our understanding that family attraction is not affiliated with that incident, other than their insurance coverage. Excuse me. Take a second, please. Um, you know, we just felt like they weren't tied to that incident at the time. I think that's most of my questions. Is there anything else you'd like to say? I don't think so. Okay. Um, one thing I would like to ask you is, you said that your attorney, your insurance attorney, has advised you not to, to provide the contract. Can we speak to that attorney directly and explain to them our position? We would be happy to discuss it with them. I would think so. I'm supposed to meet with him this afternoon, uh, trying to get a time dialed in. He's called me twice. Just called when you guys walked up, so trying to get that initial visit uh, outside of a phone conversation. I mean, could you give us his his or her name and phone number? We could place that call and get that ball rolling. Once we can get uh, him retained and, and you know, everything.
everything done. Uh, he's going to review the information at this point, and it sounds like uh, you know, we're going to be able to get that started today, the process. So uh, you know, probably later this afternoon, we could possibly make that information available at that point. But, uh, again, we haven't signed any documents on the retained issue at this point. But you are taking his advice right now. Uh, we are, and he's indicated verbally that he will take you know, the review and provide him information, but we have not signed any documentation to that effect. <clears throat> okay. We would just like to get in contact with him as early as possible if you could provide it now. I mean, it's just a phone call. I understand. But he doesn't have the benefit of the information, everything, at the, excuse me, at this point. Okay. I think we're good. You good?